Could Timothy Castagna be on his way to Arsenal? Yes, people, I forgot. Welcome back to another Arsenal transfer news video. As always, if you're loving this type of content, this is the place to be. Make sure you subscribe down below on my road to 3,000 subscribers for daily Arsenal transfer news. And today's story is all about Timothy Castagna from Leicester. Coming from Edu, uh, Eduardo Hagen saying, Arsenal are moving for Timothy Castagna. Open contact between Arsenal and Leicester City. The move, to, uh, the move could be sealed quickly, reports Sasha, who's a Belgian uh, journalist. And it's an interesting one, right? Because whenever a team gets relegated, especially when it's a bigger team that gets relegated, it's not expected to get relegated due to the quality of players they have, you're going to expect a raid on that team. And Leicester have got Madison, Tielemans, players like that, for example. Out of all those players, I did not think Arsenal would target Castagna, but I don't hate it one bit. Castagna is a fullback, and he's a tall fullback as well. He's, he's over six foot. And he definitely is a much better side, much better player than a team that should get relegated. Let's be completely honest about it. Now, whether he's as good as some people would make out, I'm not too sure. But he's definitely not as not he's definitely not a player that deserves to get relegated. He's a Premier League quality player. And Arsenal targeted him on a cut fee, which I kind of like that proposed option, to be completely honest with you guys. It's been talks that he's our second option behind Ivan Fresneda, who is still targeted by the football club. I released a video on him earlier this month uh, regarding that transfer. We know Borussia Dortmund are also in for Ivan Fresneda. But one thing's clear and obvious, right? Arsenal are in for a fullback this this summer, which is an interesting one because I genuinely thought the fullback position was one that would be, that we're alright. We've got Ben White, we've got Tommy Asu. Now I know Tommy Asu can't stay fit for whatever reason, but the man is a fullback. That is his position. On the other side, you got Zinchenko and you got Tierney as well. Now Tierney reports that, uh, is that he is leaving to Newcastle. A deal around the mark of thirty five million is being ironed out by both Newcastle, Arsenal, and Tierney's representative. So we can expect him to depart this summer. I do expect that, and if that's the case, that does leave a hole. Now whether Tommy Asu gets converted to a left back as well as what we're expecting. And then Arteta brings in another right back, whether it is Ivan Fresnet or Timothy Castagna. That could be an option. And the way I look at it is, right, we could actually offset some money in that sense because if Tierney goes for 35 million or so and we bring Castagna or Ivan Fresnet, those players are going to cost under 20 million. So we're going to save ourselves 15 million and replace Tierney potentially. Now, whether the replacement is adequate, that's down to you guys to, to come up with that, uh, to come up with an uh, opinion on that. I don't mind it personally. Look, I think Kieran Tierney is a good defender, but I don't think Kieran Tierney is the player that's going to take Arsenal forward. So if he wants to go and we're going to sell him, fine. Just get money for him, especially if it's a Premier League move to a rival in Newcastle. Get adequate money for him and bring in a replacement. I'm not against Timothy Castagna, one bit to, to be completely honest with you guys. I don't buy into this narrative of don't buy from clubs that, that got relegated. I don't buy into that narrative one bit, man. You get, you get some gems from those clubs. Look at Aaron Ramsdale, for example. Been absolutely brilliant for us, man. No one can tell me he's, he's a championship quality goalkeeper. Even if you look around the league, you look at Robertson coming from Hull City. Why now them coming from Newcastle when they got relegated, man? You can get some real gems from relegated teams. So I like this potential move from Arsenal. I mean, the reports are, as I said from the tweet, that it could be sealed quickly, as I do expect, because when clubs get relegated, right, in this case Leicester, they want to get they want to get rid of their assets that they need to sell to recoup some of the losses, right? They need to sell them quickly, man. They need to get cash flow in the door quickly so they can move on and see who wants to stay there and see who wants to go. So, Timothy Castan is one of the players that uh, Leicester are open to moving on. Arsenal are in contact. I don't hear any other parties currently involved in the deal. Of course, he's a Belgium international, so... There could be some other parties in from, especially on a cut price. But I do expect if this deal to get done, it will be done ve fairly quickly. Uh, but just because of how, how it suits both parties, it's in the interest of both parties for this deal to get done quickly, to be completely honest. But at the same time, if I'm Arsenal Football Club, right, I've got to be looking at Declan Rice right now, man. I am still haven't heard any reports, any concrete reports. I've heard some, but no concrete reports on an actual bid being submitted for Declan Rice as of now. Get that bid in the door right now, man. Like, come on, stop Arsenal need to get moving on this Declan Rice deal because we can't keep messing about. Bayern Munich are interested. So, for me, first port call has to be those two centre midfielders. Declan Rice and Moises Caicedo, they're there for the taking. There's other clubs interested swimming around like sharks for that for those players. So, get them in the door. Then, once you've got the two centre mids in, then feel free to look at right backs, centre backs, goalkeepers, right wingers, whatever else positions you want to look at. But for me, those two midfielders have to be the priority for Arsenal Football Club. And look... We know Declan Rice bid is imminent. We know he's our number one transfer target. But at the same time, Arsenal are looking at other options, man. So I don't know whether it's a good thing or bad thing, to be honest with you guys. I always like the fact that Arsenal do look at multiple options. And we are a club that like, we, we spread around our, our scouting network to see potential players in the market that we could get from multiple positions. But another part of me thinks, right, like, it's just a bit of a scattergun approach. And if you keep looking at everyone, you don't zero down on one target. Sometimes you need tunnel, tunnel vision in the transfer market. Just go, okay, target Declan Rice, zone in on him and get that one done. Okay, after Declan Rice is done, then let's go Moise Caicedo, zone in and get him done. Do you get what I mean? Like, just knock him down one by one by one. I think that would be a better strategy, personally. Whereas right now, what we're seeing from Arsenal, right, all the paper talk, and of course it is paper talk, so it's not necessarily true. It's all just rumours at this stage. But from what we're hearing, it's a bit like Arsenal are just like throwing bait onto the field and just seeing what they catch. 
It's like they're just throwing bait out and seeing what fishes they get, like a cod, a tuna, a salmon, you know what I mean? Whereas we should just be looking in for one position. It's like, okay, we're looking at Kazastania, we're looking at Fresnado, we're looking at Declan Rice, Caicedo, Cancelo, just all these little inquiries going out and out to every single player and nothing quite concrete happening right now, which, look, I mean, there's plenty of time to transfer window. Transfer window hasn't even opened yet. I believe it opens on the 14th of June, if I'm not mistaken. So, also still got plenty of time to get this over the line, make no mistake about it. And Castagna, if it is a deal that's going to happen, it's going to happen fairly quick. But as of now, I do believe Arsenal's main priority is still Declan Rice, as confirmed by notable journalists, including Fabrizio Romano. So I'd expect the main movements to happen regarding that transfer. But in terms of Timothy Castagna to Arsenal, if we do get it over the line, if it's for under 15 million or so, I'd be really happy with it. For under 15 million, you're getting a quality right back that's coming in, man. Premier League proven, taller as well. Fits Arteta's needs, I'd, I'd suggest, having seen him play for Leicester City. Definitely not a starter, but someone that can make up the numbers in the squad and not be a liability if you bring him into the team. So I'd really like the potential Timothy Castagna signing if it is on a cut deal from Leicester. I mean, of all the Leicester players that there were potentially on the market, I would have thought Arsenal, if you told me Arsenal looking at a Leicester player because they got relegated, I would have thought, okay, Madison or Tielemans. I would never in a million years gone for Castagna, to be honest. But look, it's one of those things, man. Arsenal always do seem to throw surprises out in the transfer window. There's always one surprise signing every window for Arsenal, man. In the summer, it was Fabio Vieira. Came out of completely nowhere. No one saw that one coming. And in the January, it was Jakub Kivior. No one saw that one coming either. It just came out of complete nowhere. Jakub Kivior to Arsenal, just like the Fabio Vieira one. So the Timothy Castagna one could be the one this season. Who knows, man? But either way, I don't mind the signing one bit. I'd like to see us bring in a fullback, to be completely honest with you guys. I think the two midfields are priorities, as I said, but I would like a backup fullback, especially if Kieran Tierney goes. And let's spend, let's spend a, not a lot of our budget, but just a little bit but a little bit of our budget on there. Between the two, Castagna and Fresneda, let me know in the comments who you would rather get. If I'm honest, I think Fresneda's a bigger risk, but it's got more upside. I think Castagna's got less upside, but it's less of a risk. It's more of a safe option. It's all about what route Arsenal want to go down, to be, to be completely honest with you guys. I don't mind getting either. I genuinely don't mind getting either. I don't think the fullback position is one that's going to make or break our season, to be completely honest with you guys. I think if we go into the, if we, if we go into next season, having bought in two midfielders like Rice and Caicedo, having bought in a backup attacking player and a backup centre-back, I would not be sitting there going, oh, my days, we didn't bring in a right-back. Let's be honest about it. But if we bring in a right-back in either Fresneda or Castagna, but then we enter the, we enter the uh, next season bringing in only one midfielder and maybe not an attacker. I'm going to be sitting there going, where's that second midfielder? Where's that striker we need or that, or that right wing we needed? Do you get what I mean? So the right back position slash left back position isn't high on my personal wish list for us this summer. But if we can get one in on a cut D and basically make some money, given that we're going to sell Tini for around 30, 35 million, that will be all good in my books, man. That'd be absolutely perfect. And that's what I want to see. But overall, Castagna to Arsenal, the reports are out there. It's just starting to materialise early. Let's see if Arsenal can build on it and potentially get the player over the line. As always, if you love Arsenal-related transfer content, this is the place we make sure you subscribe down below. I'm already to 3,000 subscribers and I'm delivering the Arsenal news daily. Make sure you like the video and let me know in the comments your thoughts. And I hope to see you all in my next one. Take care.